Hello! I get the very special opportunity to tell you a little bit about the flute. I am Tina Bennett. I go by Mrs. Bennett in my classroom and I teach middle school band in Buffalo, Wyoming. And when I was in college, I majored on the flute. This was the main instrument that I got to play. And um, I picked it for a lot of reasons. I really loved it because it plays a lot of melodies and I always felt like the flute had the prettiest parts and I really wanted to play those really pretty parts. I also really liked um, how it looked. It has a lot of keys on it and I thought that that was really, really neat. And I also liked that um, that it was like shiny and silver. And I always thought that it looked really, really neat. So that was another reason why I really wanted to play the flute. And I actually got to start playing the flute when I was in fifth grade. So I'm going to tell you a couple of interesting facts about the flute. And then I'm going to play a little bit for you so you can get to know this instrument a little bit better. The flute is part of the woodwind family. And a lot of times people will look at the flute and go, but it's made out of metal and you don't use a reed. Why is it part of the, the woodwind family? And the reason is, is because the first flutes were made out of wood, but even more interesting, the very first flutes before the wooden flutes were actually made out of large femur bones and your femur bone, you can't really see it on me, but your femur bone, I guess if I back up, you can see, is the big bone that runs through your leg. And they used to take it from um, cows or, or horses actually quite commonly, and then they would hollow out the femur bone and drill holes in it to make a flute. Those were the very first flutes. It's one of the very oldest instruments, and it just has gotten more um, complex and more, I guess, just functional for people to play, and that's why they look like this now. And plus, a metal flute is a lot louder than a bone or a wooden flute. Another really interesting fact about the flute is that it used to be played long, wide, long ways like this, like a recorder, which is part of the flute family. But now the flute that we often see that you play for band and for orchestras is a transverse flute, which means that you play it this direction and then you blow into a tone hole to make sound. So if you have ever been to McDonald's and you get a drink and you've been whistling into the, the straw of your cup and you can make a pretty good sound on that, the flute might be a good choice for you. Or if you've ever had like a root beer bottle and you've been blowing across the top of the bottle to make a fun sound, that's the same type of way that you make sound on the flute. Another really cool fact, I think this is cool because I love the presidents, George Washington was actually a flute player. It was really common for men in the military to play the flute because it has a nice high sound. And as military men were marching um, for any kind of reason, there was often a fife or a flute player that would play a melody over top of the marching and over top of the drums because it's high and it carries really well to our ear. And so it was a melody that you could hear. So really cool instrument, the flute. So the song that I'm going to play for you is called The Water is Wide and it is an American folk song and it's really beautiful. Beautiful. And it's one of the reasons why I chose the flute because it often gets to play really beautiful melodies like this. So I'm going to play it with piano accompaniment. So you'll hear the piano at the beginning and then you will hear, um, I'll come in on the flute part. So this is the water is wide on the flute, which belongs to the woodwind family. It's crazy to think they used to be played like this. That seems much harder to me.